Whoa, what's up? It's your boy LJ, man. I'm glad to have y'all here with me once again. I'm already paying for your taxes, you know. Appreciate the little things, you know, small victories. Appreciate that. They really struggle with appreciating small victories. <laughs> you know, they try to get the home run. If it ain't the home run, it's like, uh, you don't care. <laughs> you don't care about my situation. She in my baby. Gotta look at my baby. She Venezuelan. She from Venezuela. <laughs> <laughs> Alright man, her car ready. Y'all give me a second. It's that walk of shame. Lucaro aquí. Yeah, man. Because it's a lot of men who's willing to come scoop up some of these women and solve their financial issues and things like that, but they don't want it. <laughs> so you can't fight with it. Just accept it for what it is or just try to find one who's willing to get on the same page with you, man. A few moments later. It's a lot of cold-hearted women out here. They don't care how much they struggle. Look, you gonna either do this for me or not. You ain't gonna do it. I hurt you. I stall before I beg you for a dollar or entertain you. A lot of them have that mentality, man. They don't need you. Ain't nothing special about your American passport here in Colombia or whatever country you come from. Man, I'll never get that confused, man. I don't know who y'all been listening to, but man, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. Your American passport don't mean nothing here. If anything, it means something horrible. Oh, here comes another one of them. Can't speak the language. All he want is, is the three letter S word. He don't want nothing serious. He just coming to play for the weekend and go run back to his women in his country. I ain't about to entertain him. I don't care. I don't care how much I'm hurt. You ain't that special. Don't never forget that, man. Don't never forget that. Yeah, our money stretched far here, but man, inflation. There's a thing called inflation. We all know this, man. Like the prices are going up. Prices are going up. And it, it has nothing to do with us coming here. It's just that Everything in the world, it changes. Nothing stays the same forever. I don't know why people get stuck in that mindset that things should stay the same. Oh man, y'all coming to Colombia and messing the prices up, man. Y'all just stay in the States with that. Man, ain't nobody messing the prices up. It's called inflation. You know what I'm saying? Same thing in our country. Bread used to be 50 cents at one point in time. What it cost now? What, almost five dollars? Man. I almost fell out at a store when I went to go buy a big bag of Doritos, five dollars. Like, since when? Damn. Like, man, that hit me hard. I, I put them Doritos right back. I, <laughs> she, I ain't wanted that much for five dollars, man. Like, what's happening here? It doesn't have a lot to do with us. Yeah, we come in, break bread, and pouring dollars into the economy or whatever. I was here during COVID. During the COVID time, when the country first opened back up, and I met my man, Miguel. This is my friend here. He's gonna make us a very delicious drink. Welcome to the carnival. The best gelados in the neighborhood, in the city. Yep. Everything is prepared with very love. And this is his business. He's 22 years old. He's doing very good. Very, very good. And this is their village, his family, their home, very good. Muchas gracias amigo. And he was 22 years old at the time. And you know, we talked and he told me a lot about the history of Cartagena and what the city been going through. And he told me a lot of things. He spoke English very well. 
and he invited me to hang out with him and he helped me and my girlfriend at the time get situated with a tour to uh, a trip to one of the islands, the Bora Bora Island. And so, man, real good dude. We have his family, you know, he invite me to his house to cook for me. You know, check up on me, ask me if I need anything. And so I return the favor. Look, man, you broke. You know, if you need anything, let me know, man. You know, and say, hey, man, you know, I got my daughters and I really want to take them swimming. Is there a pool at, at your apartment? Yeah, man. Come on over, bring them, bring the fam, man. We'll get some food. We'll, you know, you can make some drinks like, like you like to, man. Just do your thing, just bring the fam, man. It's all love, bro. And so that's what I enjoy most about being here because when you meet real people, they embrace you. They don't let go, man. I met this dude over four years ago. Over four years ago. And we still locked in. Like we see each other every day and hang out every day, man. Like for real. But a lot of them can't relate to us. Because they figure like, oh man, ain't sweet in your country. Why you here? You know? Like, what you doing here? Like, they ain't sweet in your country. Like, you know nothing about struggling. You, you got your family, everybody doing well in your country, in the United States. Like, you know, if you need favors, you, you can ask them. And that's how a lot of them think. They, they think we really got it sweet in our country. Like, we don't have to work hard a day in our life. I wish it wasn't like that, but I mean, what can you do about it? Like, you're not gonna change the way they think and the way they perceive us. You can only introduce yourself as a good person or a bad person. A person with good intentions or whatever. You know, that's about the most you can do. Either they gonna understand or they not. Either way, who cares? Just go to the next one. You know, they ain't all the same. If, if they all the same, then we all the same. <laughs> I just gotta put that out there. But yeah, man, this ain't no rant or nothing. I'm just, you know, I'm just thinking, you know, and just expressing myself. That's that's why I do this. I like to express myself. Every day don't need to be a party or, or something crazy. Y'all y'all know me, you know, the type of content I like to put out, man. I just like to be able to keep it real with y'all sometimes. I know a lot of people don't care to hear things like this. Because all they care about is the women and they skip over things like this so it's like you know guys like me want to give y'all content like this but nobody cares about this <laughs> they don't care about this you know all they care about man what the women talking about what they talking about what they looking like man show me walk around the city record them you know walk around your camera show us women on the beach show us the women walking around the city man, that's all they care about man like, of course you gonna come here and have a lot to complain about if that's all you care about, like, for real. A woman gonna be a woman, man, wherever you go. It's gonna be good ones, it's gonna be bad ones. So there's no need to label them all the same. Oh, they're all the working girls. So who cares? You ain't paying any bills. <laughs> Let them people get it how they get it. Yeah, if you ain't into it, who cares, man? Like, it's all about Energy plays a part in everything. You know, that's why I never worry about having problems here because I carry myself with positive energy. You know, the energy you put out is the energy you receive back in return. That's just how it is. So, you know, when you hear people always talking about problems, 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 like you need to take a real good look at them. It's the energy they carry. It gotta be, like everybody can't be the problem. Everybody around you can't be the problem and it's never you. You know, a lot of times you have to look in the mirror. A lot of times you have, it starts with you. You know, if you putting out good energy, that energy gonna come right back to you. And that's how I meet the people I meet here. It's, it's no accident. It's just the energy I put out, you know, no matter where I'm at. Like I meet people around me when I'm here, you know, I have a way of making people feel important, you know.
like the rapper guys that walk around the city rapping to y'all, how they try to make y'all feel important. You are the boss. You are the boss. Hey, Luis the boss. Luis the boss. You know what I'm saying? Stroke his ego. Hey, Luis hey, the yeah, boss. Yeah, Luis the boss, baby. You go get the love. But first of all, you are the boss. Hey, zapato, que te costó un millón de dólares. You know, I, I give the same energy return, you know? You know, when I see people that I don't know, say I'm about to walk in the club or something, security dude, I dab them off, you know, give them a bro hug. What's going on, man? You know, what's your name? Everything good? You know, something simple as that. And that's everybody. Before I ask anybody a question, dab them off. You know, hey, how's it going? Speak to them. Everything good? Simple as that. Man, that, that relaxes people. You know, everybody said, man, this guy is real humble. You know, you give that energy to them, they give it back to you. You know, he's a humble guy. I'm going to be humble with him. I don't know what these people background are. But I know the vibes never lie. You get that positive energy, you're going to get it back. That's why y'all don't hit me on here talking about no robberies and things like that. Y'all ain't going to hear me talk about that stuff. I could care less. Like for real. And where I'm from, we don't talk about stuff like that. I don't know where y'all from, but we don't talk about stuff like that because we don't want people to know things like that happen to us. Happen to us. Because where I'm from, that, that just shows sign of weakness. Like, oh, you let them boys play with you? Alright. So the next one gonna come play with you like that. And the next one, they gonna come try you like that. Everybody gonna hit a lick off. Like real talk, so man, that ain't my energy, man. I'm I'm just staying in my lane and doing what I do, and I'm just trying to keep it like that, man, and produce good content and meet people who's willing to help me excel, go to the next level here. Man, that's that's all I really want, man. Like, but my question to y'all is, what more do y'all need here in Cartagena? Is it a good woman? Is it a peace of mind? Just a fun adventure or, or what? A, a house, a home here, what? Like what more do y'all need? That's that's all I wanna know, man. Cause I don't think it's that serious to come here and just complain about everything. You can't find a wife in Cartagena. Man, anything possible. You don't know. Man, that trail I was just at, man, it's a lot of women walk that trail every day. By themselves, skating, jogging. You don't think if you get out there, you can't eventually start a conversation with one of them? Probably don't want to do that. If you don't learn Spanish, you ain't going to be able to do that. You can't run up on the girl while she jogging and pull out the translator. Nah, man, put that work in. Learn the language. At least basic conversation. Like, all you need to do is just learn enough. Just to be able to, to get to the, the texting part, you know? And eventually, you're just gonna start understanding more and more. Like, for real, man. It's like, nothing is really worth complaining about. Cause my thing is, what I used to always tell my ex, okay, you already told me about the problems, what's the solution? I don't know, okay, let me help you find one. That's the best advice I could give you. Oh, that's that's the best I could do for you, you know what I'm saying? Like real talk, because a lot of women here, I'm gonna keep it real with you. A lot of them, what they want more than anything is simple. Somebody feels sorry for them. I used to ask my ex one simple question, yes or no answer, it's always this backstory. Man, spend me the detail. See or no? I don't need the details. Let, you know, let's cut to the chase. You know, like, I don't need this sad story, man. You know, just answer the question, yes or no? Like, don't do that. Like, you ain't gotta try to make me feel sorry for you to try to get something from me. That's the worst way. You ain't gonna get nothing from me trying to get sympathy from me. Like, I don't sponsor sympathy. I don't advise y'all doing either. 
you know, when they come at me with a sad story, I always tell them the same thing. I hope your situation improves soon. That's it. That's all I can say. You know, I got my life. What they trying to do for it? What value they bring to my life? So, hey, you better take these words of encouragement and, you know, try to make it happen some type of way. Especially if we ain't like that. If we just talking and writing and hanging out, like, man, like, what, what more do you need? Like, we not committed. I'm already paying for your taxes, you know. Appreciate the little things, you know, small victories. Appreciate that. They really struggle with appreciating small victories. <laughs> you know, they try to get the home run. If it ain't the home run, it's like, <laughs> you don't care. <laughs> you don't care about my situation. It's like, nah, man, you know. Like, if you didn't know me, like, how would your situation get resolved? Like, we could do this reverse psychology thing all day, because I don't get caught up in words. Like we could, we could, I could flip the script all day. Whatever you tell me, I can reflect it back to you all day. So you ain't gonna get me with the, with the simple. Like nah, that's that's gonna make me mad more than anything. Cause don't do that, man. We people, you know. We all human. We all go through similar things, similar situations. But you know, like it ain't my responsibility to come to your country and try to fix what. You know, the people who are responsible for you ain't, ain't doing You know, they can't resolve it. How you expect me to? Nah, that's not gonna happen. But anyway, man, I could go on and on about this for a long time, but I'm gonna end it right here. So if y'all have not already subscribed to the channel, we gonna keep this going. You feel me? And I'm out.